Good morning, church. Uh, I guess you're, you're ready for a contribution. I take it by uh, your responses there. Amen. So uh, my name is uh, Nick Infantino. It's my incredible wife, Dale. We lead the, the New Jersey region of the New York City International Christian Church. Uh, it is an absolute joy to be back with you this morning. Uh, where, uh, you know, Day and I had the privilege of leading over the singles ministry for some time, the Bronx region for some time. So it's always a joy to be back in New York City. Uh, for a contribution this morning, I wanted to read a scripture in Romans chapter 12, if you would turn with me there. In Romans chapter 12, verse 1, the scriptures read, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Uh, very powerful passage here. And, uh, you know, it reminds us that when we become disciples of Jesus Christ, we put our whole life on the altar. Everything, not just our sin, not just our relationships or our lifestyle, but literally everything, our entire bodies, if that would be the call. And, uh, you know, we have a saying in our church, go anywhere, do anything, and give up everything. You know, so as we give this morning to uh, our finances to the church, uh, let's remember that it's not just finances, but it's our whole life. And, uh, you know, when you've given up your whole life, what's, uh, you know, a few hundred dollars? What's uh, six times special missions? Because you've already given everything, right? And, uh, you know, sometimes we can struggle so much with, with giving a little bit each week, and maybe we forget that, that we gave up everything when we said Jesus is Lord. You know, I was thinking about it. It's kind of like when you go to, to a CVS or maybe a grocery store and you have a purchase and you say, hey, do you want to round up and, you know, just give a, a few more cents to this charity organization? You're like, well, I've already spent $100 on groceries. You know, what's another 75 cents to help, uh, you know, this orphanage here? All right? So you just give a little bit. It's no big deal, right? Uh, or, you know, when you go to the fast food and they're like, hey, you want a Frosty for $1? And you're like, yes, yes, I do. You know, one more dollar for that Frosty, I'll take it, right? So, <laughs> you know, sometimes you don't have the same attitude when God asks us for a little bit more after we've already given so much. But, you know, I believe that it's because some of us are not sure about our, our initial purchase, amen? We're not all in in the first place. We're still contemplating everything. So when we're asked for a little bit more, it seems like the end of the world sometimes. You guys with me right here? So I think there's something going on in our hearts that's much deeper than just our contribution or our missions. If we struggle to give our contribution, perhaps we're not all in in the first place. Uh, you know, we have uh, the Bahrain mission team coming up. We're very excited about and, uh, you know, for me, this is not the first time that I have counted the cost on going to the Middle East. You know, back in 2015, when they were going to plant the Dubai church, which Dale was a part of that initial planting, she may or may not have had something to do with my desire to be on that mission planting back in 2015. And uh, that was the first church. It was the crown of thorns planting, the first church in the Middle East. And it was a great honor to be called to... to to desire to go on that mission team, to be accepted onto that mission team. But once I, I kind of uh, sobered up about that decision and realized that I'm going to go from my nice, comfortable life here in the United States to a country where I don't know the culture. And at this time, uh, ISIS was very active. And I'm seeing Christians beheaded on the, the mainstream news channels in the United States. Uh, I really did fear for my life. And I realized that, you know, looking back on retrospective Dubai is very, very safe. Uh, Bahrain, in the same way, very, very safe. But, but there is a real threat, at least more so than in the United States, that your life could be uh, at stake here. 
And I had to count that cost moving there. You know, I had to realize that I, I could die a martyr's death in the Middle East. And uh, amen. So be it. You know, because this, this, what would this look like? Well, at 25, then I would, I would never fulfill my dreams. I would never see my, my kingdom dreams fulfilled even. Uh, I would never have the chance to be married or have children. And I had to count the cost on that. If that's God's call for my life, so be it. Because you know what? When I said Jesus is Lord and my life is, is in his hands, and his plan is better than my plan, then I accepted that, hey, it's all on the table here. It's all on the altar. But now it's really being called to the mat. Yeah. You know, so uh, once you, you have that reckoning, um, I mean, everything else is icing on the cake. Yeah. You know, take all my money. It's all good because I've already given my life. Yeah. Amen. So I just want to remind us of that this morning. I'll let uh, Dale share. Yeah. Well, good morning. Good morning, ladies. Yeah, I really love what Nick shared about uh, giving is a reflection of our heart and whether we're sold out or not. And, you know, he talked about, oh, what's, you know, an extra dollar or two here or there uh, with your purchase. And it just made me think about us, ladies, how sometimes we can like budget and we're like, I'm only going to spend this much because I need this and I need that. And then if I do this and it's like we have this domino effect. And I think sometimes that can affect our relationship with God. And so the question is, are you budgeting your salvation? Where this much I'll give here, that much I'll give there. Mm, if I give this, will I get something in return? Like, like Nick said, it's, it's a condition of the heart. And when we've given it all up, there is the budget goes out of the window as well. The, the negotiation goes out of the window as well. And so just really reflect on, you know, your heart. You know, are you budgeting? your relationship with God, where this much you'll give in this area and that much you'll give, or you'll take a little bit back. And just understanding that when we give, it's because we've already surrendered everything. Thank you. Amen. Uh, so church, uh, as we pray for the contribution, I just want to remind us uh, to recall the, the sacrifice we made when we said Jesus is Lord and put it all back on the altar. Yeah. When you give this morning, give with a cheerful heart. Give with a generous heart because you've already given all to Jesus and he will provide till, till the day we are called back into to heaven. Amen. So uh, with that, let's go to God in prayer. Dear Father God, we thank you, Lord, for providing all of our needs, God, for giving us life to the full. For God, uh, giving us a life that none of us could ever hope or imagine for, walking with you every single day of our lives, God. We thank you for using us to continue to build up your kingdom in whatever way you see fit. That be our finances or our very lives, God. That we are grateful. Understand this is all a grace that we are able to serve our great God in this way. Thank you, Lord. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.